You said you would be with me. No, no, ow, no, ow, no. Oh. Uh, Welcome back to the basement. <laughs> the friendliest place on YouTube. Uh, poor Link. Um, we're here at shrine number four on the plateau, and it's episode number four. Remember how you thought we were going to do this in two episodes? Hey, it's better than six so far. <laughs> it is better than six so far. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? I just... That was great. <laughs> I mean, it still could be six, depending on how terribly things it's go true. here. Oh, yeah, the stasis. I love that you just... Right away, you get the, um... The special ability. Yeah. You know, I was gonna say this, but we were in the and middle of saying something it. else. When we got the bomb rune, mm -hmm. I was so excited to see just, like... They just gave me two items. Yes. You get the square and the, the the cube and the sphere bombs. I remember being really excited the first time I figured out you could lay a square bomb and then lay a round bomb and blow them up one at a time. Right. I feel like I've cheated through a few shrines later in the game where you have to like hit a switch multiple times and you have to do it cleverly in order to progress through. Like and one switch, you know? And you just lay two different bombs on either side of it and then remotely detonate them one at a time when you're in your different spots at the shrine. It's a great technique. All right, stasis. Uh, this is our fourth rune, right? So yes. now we're all set for runes. I mean, all that's left is the camera, which we won't get yet, and the um. Freeze it! Oh, shoot! First death. My thought, my stasis was gonna be alive, and then it was stupid not. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a cooldown period. I forgot because I, I have the upgraded one. So the cooldown period's faster. Yeah. Uh, hey. Ow, I hurt my hand. You made me. You made me sad. I made you sad. Well, no, not you. I mean, <laughs> that's just dumb. Guys, leave a comment below about... Um, I was going so well so fast. How funny this is. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait again for an hour. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone used stasis rune on my <laughs> cooldown period. <laughs> ah. Basement dwellers, how many different lines is that in the, uh, the cooldown counter? Is it 60? Look at that. Perfectly flat. Almost. Okay. I'm just being contrarian. Okay, now you, now you gotta wait. You gotta yeah, wait I know. Do, 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 do. I don't know how they did that Let's before. See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <coughs> it's probably like 50. Which is weird. I mean, it should be divisible by, what, 4, right? Probably, the way it is. 48, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, basement dollars. If anyone wants to count <laughs> how many little lines there are, Whoa. oh, you need that hammer. You yeah. need it. I need it. Oh, I need it. This giant hammer. You can I need actually clear it. this jump with that thing if you do it right, but I'm not doing that. Nope. Ah, that's enough, don't you think? Save oh, some yeah. wear and tear on your poor fly. hammer. Boom! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh! 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 What's in the treasure chest in these? Is it ever um, armor in the on the plateau? No. Treasure chest? Okay. Well, get the get your spirit orb. Okay. 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 Mister, I'm trying to go fast. Well, you're asking questions about a treasure chest, and I'm like, oh man, am I missing stuff? I forgot about the treasure chests. I'm just trying to get out the plateau really fast, so that way people can really get involved. But I suppose you guys have been leaving comments. You've been Start to rack up ideas. Yeah, of what you guys we're are be involved. Doing. You're yeah. leaving com Hey, if you're leaving comments, we're replying to them. That's true. Um, but uh, as of the m voice that is being spoken right now, as it speaks, is that the right way to say it? Yeah, as we speak, we haven't had a chance to see any of the uh, the, any comments, of the comments. Yeah, because we're recording the plateau. We're you know, in the like past. On one. Your comments are in the future. Whoa. And, but you're listening in the present. We're time traveling. We should make a video about time traveling. I'll bet that would get a lot of clicks. That's true. Maybe we did that. Okay, is that for- oh! In the past. It's, uh, paraglider time. Is he giving us a paraglider right now? No, no, no. He doesn't give it to us until we're on top of the- Oh, the, I shall uh, wait for you there. At the Temple of Time is what he said. Do you yes, understand? Do you understand? Well, no, he doesn't. He says, draw lines from the shrine shrines. to shrine and then whoa the shrine lines <laughs> is that a whoa <laughs> yes are you gonna quick travel yes sir oh you gotta get what's in that treasure chest though uh we'll find out later yeah you don't need it 
So the trick to this, guys, is what you want to do is you want to set the bomb first. So then you can stasis the rock, hit it, and build up the kinetic energy. And it doesn't matter what direction the kinetic energy is in. Because, uh-oh, you're out of stamina to climb. Because then when you explode the bomb... No! Oh! Well, I guess we're not going there. Dang it! <laughs> don't, well, pa don't paraglide. Here, we're just we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this real quick, guys. <laughs> this will be faster. <laughs> Barely. Man, if I wouldn't have climbed all the way up the rock, we would have been fine. But I, I went all the way up the rock. Some sides of the rock, it's like you can grab the side of it, and then if you climb at all, you're on top. But other sides, it's like you you can climb the side of it, and you still have a couple of little handholds yeah. that you can do before it puts your feet the on. The thing is, like, I guess, so, certain points of the rock, you're more likely to fall off. Right. You know? I mean, of course, if you climb all the way up the rock, you obviously fall off. But. Yeah, so what we're doing here, for anyone who doesn't know, is we're trying to travel with the rock. So, when you use your stasis on it, and then you hit it, right, it, it doesn't move, but it builds up energy. And then... If you're holding on to it sideways, then you can go with the rock. Now, it wanted to travel... Oh, you did it again? Grab it! Darn it! Okay, skipping it. You might as well open the chest, since yeah, you've uncovered right. it twice. <laughs> That's a good point. Dang it! That was so stupid! I wanted to do that. Oh, well. We'll just go this way. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes sometimes in Breath of the Wild. You know, all the best laid plans. Uh, I, there, there are several enemy camps that I needed multiple lives to do, especially earlier on in the game. Yeah. I can remember the first time I left the plateau, too, just being freaked out by a moblin chasing me. They were huge! Yeah. I mean, they are huge, It was but so like... big, and it was so fast, just, like, in its big, dumb walk, because its legs were so long. Yeah. It's truly frightening. This really isn't that long, but if you're speedrunning it, that's a long time. Yeah. So I think here you could do the let go and grab technique. It's hard to say though if that rock that overhang. Like, that's the thing I'm worried about. Yeah. Can I mean, get away from you. I don't think we're gonna take oh, yep. yeah. that height, but. But the angle was stronger than it looked like while you were climbing on it. It's deceptive. Yeah, it's true. Hey, you know what? I think we're gonna get off the plateau. In this episode. Yeah, I think so too. Although there's, depending on how skippable this cutscene is, we may have to cut something. You know, out of the video. I think it is skippable. You gotta climb to the top, right? Yep. You might as well climb that wall right there next to you. If you climb the wall right next to you, you can't make it. Oh, really? Yep, you have to use this ledge here to make it. How did I not know that? Oh, you mean with the jumping? Right. Yeah. Oh. I guess it is quicker then to, to walk further and then be able to jump up the wall rather than just do the slow climb. I had so much patience when I was on the... You know, the first time you're in this part of the game, you really have a lot of patience because you're like, it's beautiful and amazing and wonderful and new. Yeah. And so I was content to just climb, slowly climb up the wall mm -hmm. on the Temple of Time, like savoring the game, drinking it all in. And I'm and like, now, yeah, we get it. You're a ghost. You're the king. You're the yeah, king of red lions. lions. You're the boat you're blue and waker. green paraglider. Da, we're gonna da, get the. Da. We're definitely gonna get these chests here, though. Look at that. That took like ten minutes in the original playthrough of the game, but that story was so awesome, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, the cutscene. Basically, he says, "Save Zelda. Save Hyrule." I'm. I'm Here's Zelda's some context. dad. I'm the king. Here's some context to your quest. Calamity Ganon. Some it is really cool, though, that, like, text. you've completed the tutorial, and and your next quest is destroy Ganon. <laughs> like, that's awesome. Yeah, I love, love, love that, like, that was it. Like, I mean, what percentage of the game is optional? A lot. A huge percentage. I mean, just look at the shrines. You have to do four there That's are 120. It. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then talk about Korok seeds and... So over 96% of the shrines are optional. Yeah, over 9,000%, I'm sure. Is... <laughs> over 9,000. <laughs> all of the Korok seeds are optional. Um, all of the divine... 
<laughs> yeah. Way to hold that pot lid. Look at that. Off the plateau. Is that the moblin that chased you? Um. Because that, that was the moblin yes. that chased me. Because I Ooh. jumped off this direction. Because I was like, oh, I got to go to the Kakarigo village. Are you going to fix your uh, map to north? Hyrule Kingdom. Here we go. Yeah, let's fix the, fix the map to north. Hey, this is one of the things that you guys can totally choose. If you're like, hey, I want you to play on pro HUD mode or whatever. Fix the... We're gonna we're gonna fix the mini map to the north just so we can know where we're going most of the time because that helps us a lot. But yes, that's a that's a big one. All right, well, man, we made it off the plateau. We're ten minutes in. Yeah, that's about perfect time to end this episode. Yeah, we're gonna stop recording and uh, we won't record again until we have lots of good comments and ammunition on how to play the game. Yes. Uh, so yeah, after this point, starting in episode five, we're really gonna see a comment influenced playthrough. And uh, we're just trying to experiment. We'll see if it goes. If you guys um, like this series and you want to see us play the whole game, be sure to hit that like button. That's one of the easiest ways to let us know uh, if, you know, if this series is not very popular and people aren't enjoying it, then we'll put effort into a different game. But we really like this game and we think it would be fun. So yeah, for sure. leave lots of comments, participate, let us know that you're pumped about this too, and uh, we'll all have a good time together. Until next time, Basement Dwellers, uh, we think that you are better at making us dizzy than slice toast on a record oh that would make me so dizzy in, in the, the basement, basement.